Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is Aki Scucha here, and today I'm going to introduce guys my motor, motorbike helmet and uh, the accessory inside this motorbike, the intercom and the GoPro setup. Let's go through the uh, motorbike helmet first. So this helmet called Shoebuth C3 Pro. Alright, I'm going to show you guys a little bit what it looks like. That's the logo in there, Shuba C3 Pro. The reason why I purchased this helmet is because this is the advertisements say this is the, probably the quietest helmet in the market now. Uh, turns out, yeah, it is. It is super quiet. Uh, let me show you guys why it's so quiet here. Okay. All right, let's look at, maybe look at the structure in there. So this is a reflective sort of a material. So when you're riding at night, they're gonna see you and you've got a reflective material here as well. You know, at the night, it creates some safety in there. People can see you. And other than that, uh, the reason why it's being so quiet because you know, you have this, this material, like rubber material and rubber material down there. This is all rubber material. And when you close the visor, oh, it's so, it's the quality, it's so good. It's not like other normal uh, helmets. For this one, you have to have a clip right there. And you have to really push down like this. There we go. And you have to hear the clip. Uh, this is not that obvious. I'm going to show you guys again. Uh, like that. Three, two, one. There we go. That's the clip right there, if you see that. Once you click click in it, it's create like a really nice environment inside, like really quiet. And uh, although you still got a little baffling uh, on the top because my scooter, my riding is a scooter, Maxi scooter, BMW C650 GT. Although you still got that little bit baffling over the top, but is still the quietest um, you can clearly hear what you get like inside the helmet uh, there's not that noisy anymore it's so good and uh, <clears throat> yeah so I got a wiser I got uh, uh, what's it called I don't know the English words again but this is the uh, the lock the this is basically what it does is that uh, this is a wide foggy you know at the night um, and this is a come come with the factory, so this is this is all original, all right. Yeah. So other than that, there's ventilation here. Sometimes when you close it, it's a little bit hard to breathe because you need you need to sacrifice some, obviously. But other than that, it's really good on on, on the quietness. But uh, once you feels like a, you a little bit hard to breathe, you just open it up. The ventilation there, the air goes in there, goes out there. So it's created a little nice air bubble inside the helmet. It's not going through there, it's just inside the helmet. It's really cooled down. And other than that, there's another ventilation here. You have a two sort of setup. One, two, really push down. One, two. So that's two setup, and this is the, where the most air goes in. It go over the helmet like that, all right? It's really cool down, so you won't be uh, dehydrated <laughs> in summer. But definitely, this is gonna be really, really hot to be honest in the summer. But again, like you, you need to sacrifice some you know, like, you, if you purchase quite this helmet. And this is a modular helmet. I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up. Uh, it's really hard to open in one hand. There we go. So you push that and you open it up. It's really nice design inside. It's really comfy, so all, all this pat. All right. Okay, cool. That's my helmet overview. So I got a uh, intercom system, communication system. Although I haven't communicated with anyone else, but I bought it just for basically for listening to music and, and radios and making phone calls, accept the phone call, the stuff. This is really good. This is called um, 
Schubert S C ten U uh, intercom communication system. Uh, this is not manufactured by Schubert, obviously. Uh, they just put their brands in it, uh, and this is particularly made for Schubert C three Pro. But uh, this is powered by Sina, which is manufactured by Sina. Uh, pretty similar to Sina ten U, and I haven't used any of these before. But this is my first time experience. I gotta say to you guys, this is 10 out of the 10, this one, right? The first thing I like this because it's all go inside. Like you don't put it outside, you don't have to worry about uh, like, well, right and click that. It's all inside and really big buttons, right? You don't have to worry about, uh, you can't find anything. And really simple, just plus and minus. You do everything in these two buttons like accept the phone calls, uh, listen to music, switch to radio, uh, use the communication system with your f fellow writers. Um, and that's the microphone. It's really nice uh, sort of little microphone there and also integrated inside the helmet. That's why I really like it, okay? And if you guys ask, where do we charge it? So the charger is down behind it. If you see that, a little light in there that's the charger that's the little micro USB down there all right okay I'm gonna open up this uh, intercom this speaker and switch to radio system and you guys can hear what it is hello, hello. once you hear that this actually turns on and that indicates the uh, the battery um, you, you get left Gonna turn on the radio now. One. So that's FM in it. I put the speaker inside. Inside there. Yeah, you can't see it's not that clear, but anyway, you get the idea. really nice like 3d sort of environment there all right I'm gonna close that cool all right <clears throat> so that's basically what it does uh, I'm not gonna go into really detail because I'm not te a technician or profession professional on, on that sort of thing but anyway uh, let's move to my another setup which is I just set up today it's a GoPro setup see that so that's my GoPro setup. I can't, I tried to put it on the top there because uh, the reason why I didn't put it there, because um, I want to put it on my storage of my scooter every time when I uh, take it off my helmet. Uh, otherwise I don't get enough space there. <laughs> but you get an idea, this is the GoPro Hero 4 um, Silver. And I purchased a extra sort of adapter for the microphone and use 3M tape to tape on it. Another thing that I really concern is that it, whether it's illegal on Victoria or not on the road, because I asked lots of departments on that already. And lots of guys say, uh, once if you're not to modify your helmets, it's fine, all right? I just tried to tape on it and, and let's just try on the road whether it's illegal or not. You know, I don't really know. Um, I have a little bit of fear in my, your side and uh anyway we just let's just try it out and this is the wires go through inside from there and can't come out there okay so that's my gopro setup and uh if you wonder what what is that one all right so that's your sunglasses inside helmet that's the bottom you push down and you push on the Oh, it's really hard to operate in one hand. But yeah, there we go. So that's my full setup of my helmets. I get a communication system there. That's the mic for communication system. I get a GoPro setup, uh, which has got an adapter on the side. That's the mic of the GoPro. And uh, sunglasses over there and modular helmets uh, sometimes this is really helpful when you uh, fill up in the petrol station 
you don't have to take it off anymore um, before that's just annoying you know and that's all right we're just gonna pull it down oh sometimes it's just a, annoying you make sure clip that up before you're riding there we go we'll clip that up yeah like sealed up over there it's not a large huge gap it means it's everything sealed up okay cool so yeah basically that's it that's my uh shuba c c10u oh, sorry uh this is my shuba c10 uh pro helmets modular helmets with my gopro setup and my intercom and uh, i'm gonna put the uh the link where i purchased this helmet uh down below uh it will cost you almost thousand bucks in australia for this particular uh helmets but i bought it on on a haulet uh company and it's only cost me 526 bucks uh, 27 bucks for for this matte, matte black version and uh yeah it's really good it is really good um just gonna put it down below and uh, you guys can check it out if you guys are interested or not okay all right cool that's it see you guys in the next video